Pro Group Management. Workers Comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Good morning and thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. I'm Renee Summerauer. We start off with business news sponsored by Bank of Nevada Bank on Accountability. Culinary union members at some of the largest strip properties are expected to ratify their contract agreements this week. One of the three agreements that has already been passed and now we're finding out what exactly is in those contracts. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more. About 40,000 hospitality workers in Las Vegas will participate in a ratification vote for five-year contracts negotiated earlier this month. Caesars Entertainment workers were the first to vote on Monday, voting 99% in favor to ratify the new five-year contract. MGM Resorts workers will vote Tuesday and Wynn Resorts workers will vote Wednesday. According to the union, the negotiated items were every worker will get a 10% wage increase in their first year of the contract retroactive to June 1st, a 32% wage increase over the total life of the contract. The average worker will earn about $26 an hour, including benefits. That figure is expected to reach $35 by the end of the five years. Downtown Las Vegas union members are also expected to fight for a similar contract, but with lower wages than the Strip. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schieffer. After a year of rising interest rates and lowering inflation, businesses in Las Vegas are hoping for a strong holiday season to boost their sales. Even with some apprehension in spending, retail sales this holiday season are expected to grow from last year. The National Retail Federation predicted that holiday spending in November and December would increase by 3 to 4 percent compared to last year. Businesses were really using sales and discounts. Uh, during this holiday season to drive interest and kind of get people in the door to shop their products. A dim sum restaurant with a famous San Francisco lineage opens in Chinatown. Palette Tea Lounge opened in the old Joyful House Chinese Cuisine at 4601 Spring Mountain Road. Palette arrives with some serious dim sum cred. Its owners also own the Koi Palace, Dragon Bow, and Palette Tea restaurants famed for their dim sum in the San Francisco Bay Area. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny and calm winds are in your forecast for today. Today's highs reaching around 67 degrees. Tonight, partly cloudy skies, calm winds, lows around 44 degrees. For the rest of the week, daytime highs will continue to be on the chilly side. Sunny skies with highs only in the mid to upper 60s. 68 degrees by Thanksgiving. Temps will continue to decrease to the low 60s by the holiday weekend. Mostly clear skies for your evenings with lows in the mid 40s. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. Metro released booking photos of four of the eight teens who were arrested in connection with the fatal beating of Rancho High student Jonathan Lewis Jr. Their cases are being heard in adult court and the four will face murder charges. They are due back in court today. Meanwhile, a vigil will be held in honor of Lewis today at 5 p.m. at the corner on Cyrilus Avenue and 21st Street across from Rancho High School. Earlier this month, Mecham Auctions put over 1,000 vehicles on auction in Las Vegas and generated over $20 million in sales. The top 10 vehicles sold total about $2.9 million, ranging from newer high-end sports cars to classic cars from the 1960s. For a full list of the top cars sold, visit lvrj.com forward slash business. Arizona Charlie's on Decatur Boulevard partners with Paws for the Cause and the Animal Foundation to host a free microchipping and adoption event this past Saturday. Microchips were free for the first two pets per owner and a $10 donation for any additional. The event arrived just in time after the city announced that they require all dogs and cats to be microchipped by August 2024. Formula One donated 35 pallets of prepackaged food to the Batista Foundation, which is hosting a packaged food giveaway event for the public. The giveaway begins at 5 p.m. tonight at Desert Breeze Community Center and will be handing out while supplies last. The remaining pallets will be given to the disadvantaged population. 
Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. Allegiant Stadium is hosting select 2023 NIAA State Football Championships today, presented by the Las Vegas Raiders. Kickoff times are as follows. The Class 2A final between Lake Mead versus Pershing County is at 9 a.m., 12.20 p.m. for the 5A Division II final between Faith Lutheran and Bishop Minogue, 3.40 p.m. for the 4A final between Sunrise Mountain and Centennial, and 7 p.m. for the 5 a Division One final, Bishop Gorman vs. Liberty. In health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. The first Clark County death from the flu this season has been reported by the Southern Nevada Health District. A man in his 60s died from influenza, according to a news release Monday. It also stated that the reports of hospitalizations and people seeking care for influenza-like illnesses are continuing to increase. As of Friday, there has been 37 hospitalizations from the flu in the health district area and 17 of those patients being 65 or older. The CDC recommends that everyone six months and older get the flu vaccine each year. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. It's time once again for the NFL's annual Thanksgiving Day triple header. The Lions are seven and a half point favorites over the Packers in the morning game, and the total is 47. The Cowboys are favored by 11 over the Commanders in the afternoon, and the total is 48 and a half. The 49ers are six and a half point favorites over the Seahawks in the nightcap. The total is 43. San Francisco remains the plus 450 second choice at Westgate Superbook to win the Super Bowl. In entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Garth Brooks is adding shows to his 2024 residency schedule. The dates being added are from September 26th through December 22nd of next year. Tickets for the first nine shows will go on sale 10 a.m. Friday, and tickets for the final nine shows will be available at noon the same day. Go to Ticketmaster.com forward slash Garth Vegas for all the details. The When We Were Young Music Festival adds a second date, adding October 20th at the Las Vegas Festival Grounds. In a twist this year, most bands will be performing full album sets. Fans can sign up now for the festival's waitlist for guaranteed access to tickets for the second date at WhenWeWereYoungFestival.com. The general public sale will begin this morning at 10 a.m. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tonight for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.